Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to COD Zombies HQ. For the first time since the launch of Cold War Zombies, the location and details surrounding the next round-based map is shrouded in mystery. Where if you remember back to the two DLC round-based maps we've already received here in Cold War, many details including names and locations were leaked well before those maps were officially revealed. But now, arriving at the DLC 4 map, which we're calling that because Treyarch considers Outbreak, DLC 2, so I guess we'll go along with it. The details we do have about it are a little bit more scarce, but they're a little bit more spread out over several different areas. The first of those areas has to do with leaked information, where for the first DLC map, the leaks revealed the map's name, Firebase Z, its codename, ZM Pink, and its location set in Vietnam. Then for the DLC 3 map, the only leak we had was its codename, ZM Platinum, and its location, Berlin. Now we're deducting another one of those things for the next DLC map, wherein in that same leak it notes that there is another codename of the map within the files that is simply codenamed the giant. Now immediately after hearing that name connected to zombies, we're immediately reminded of the actual The Giant Zombies map set in Darice. And evidently the interpretation of the original leaker felt the same way, offering some commentary that he thought that this could be related to some kind of Darice remake within Cold War. At the time, that seemed to make the most sense, right? We already had the reveal of Di Machina, where it had the whole of Nocter and Toten featured on the map itself. There was, of course, rumors that the Vietnam map Firebase Z could feature portions of Shino Numa, and that the Berlin map could feature portions of Kino Der Toten. So it would be only be logical that the third DLC map could feature a remade version of Darice. But then, of course, we've now gotten Firebase Z and Mauer, where unfortunately both don't feature any kind of of reference to past ether maps like D Machina does. So I think it's highly likely that the DLC 4 map probably won't feature portions of the Darice facility, but now that we have a lot more information about this story and different elements to the Dark Ether storyline, the meaning behind the giant codename might be a little bit different than our gut reactions of pointing to Darice, right? Where now within the Dark Ether Zombies storyline, an actual giant zombie is prominently featured. It's the Orda boss zombie. And while it made its easter egg debut in D Machine via a high round outside of the map easter egg, we finally got the full reveal of the Orda in Firebase Z, and now it's also a boss zombie within the Outbreak game mode. Within the story of the Dark Aether universe, those Ordas are actually called Elder Gods and there's a hierarchy of them, meaning that there's one order, one Elder God that rules above them all. It's been mentioned by a few different names within the intel we've gotten within the story, but if Treyarch is setting up DLC 4 to be the finale to the first cycle, the first year of Cold War Zombies releases, then instead of the giant being interpreted as Darice, it could be interpreted as that top dog, the top of the hierarchy, Elder God. Another giant zombies boss were likely to face in that map. And the other option of what the giant could refer to is not necessarily a boss zombie on the map, but rather to the location itself. Totally separate and unrelated from the giant remake we got in Black Ops 3 and the Darice facility in which it's based on. Where if we take a look at the first two maps released by Treyarch for DLC here in Cold War, there's an obvious pattern that's beginning to form. Wherein, instead of trying to make a zombies map totally from scratch, which appears to be what they did for the map on disc, D Machina instead, in order to cut down on development time, they're reusing large chunks of campaign maps as assets in order to base their new zombies maps out of. Obviously, this saves a whole bunch of time in development. With the Zombies maps now releasing for free within the seasons, it seems like one of those trade-offs that Treyarch has had to make. So, Firebase Z was made using a bunch of elements from the Fractured Jaw mission of the campaign, and Mauer der Toten was made using a bunch of assets from the Brick in the Wall mission of the campaign. It only stands to reason that the next Zombies DLC map will also use a campaign mission as its base. So the question is with the map being called the Giant, 
what campaign feature could we kind of plug into that idea? My mind went to two different campaign missions and locations specifically, the first one being Red Light, Green Light, which features as the centerpiece to that campaign mission an absolutely giant military facility that looks to be something straight out of sci-fi, and perhaps the giant codename could refer to this building itself. Now, of course, inside this giant building, at least in the campaign mission, it features a replica of a stereotypical American town, which I'm not sure we'd see in the zombies mode, but it could be an interesting location nonetheless. And the next campaign mission I thought of of was Echoes of a Cold War, which is set on the massive Soviet facility located on Mount Yamantau. Now, a location for a zombies map on Mount Yamantau has been rumored in the past, with a lot of people in the community believing that this fourth zombies map might end up being set in this Mount Yamantau location, which features a massive Soviet facility surrounded by giant mountains. It would offer that good mix of wide open areas and close quarters interiors that we've been seeing from a lot of the other Cold War zombies. DLC maps, so I can definitely see why a lot of people believe we'll be returning to this location within the next Zombies map. Now, one thing, aside from the actual location of the map that seems to have everybody in agreement, is that this map will most likely feature the return in part, or totally in full, of the Dark Aether environment back into the DLC 4 map. Now, it's actually kind of surprising to me that the only time we've got to actually see the Dark Aether here in Cold War Zombies was in the first Zombies map. We haven't seen any elements of the Dark Aether environment or the Dark Aether skybox return since the release of Demachina. With a lot of elements of the Dark Aether storyline, Shocker here actually being tied to elements with in the Dark Aether, it is very likely that the Dark Aether environment will play a huge part within that DLC 4 map. My guess would be that where Indy Machine going into the Dark Aether was an option, I would guess that the DLC 4 map would be set entirely within the Dark Aether environment itself. That being said, with such an important map being entirely set within the Dark Aether, it does of course bring up the possibility that Treyarch could end up teasing future Zombies content within the that Dark Aether map. We know that the Victus crew has been chilling in the Dark Aether since Tag Der Toten, with the rumored maps to be returning within Zombies Chronicles 2, possibly released sometime midway through next year, being maps from the Victus storyline, Buried, Transit, and Die Rise, it might be within that DLC for Dark Aether map that we might actually get a tease as to their eventual return. Now, the good news about this, according to Treyarch, is that we likely don't have that long to wait until we get more concrete information about this DLC 4 map, where in their blog post about content that's going to be added into the game in Season 5, they said relating to some of the new intel that's going to be added into the map with that release, that the Requiem Director's Agenda, which a lot of people believe to be Richtofen, and his plans for Maxis, will soon be revealed. There was a bunch of direct teasers pointing to the location of Firebase Z within the Season 1 intel, same with a bunch of intel pieces pointing directly to Berlin within the Season 4 intel, so it's very likely that we'll be seeing intel pointing to this location for the DLC 4 map sometime within the DLC 5 intel as well. But guys, that wraps up this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you believe that there's a campaign mission that I didn't mention in the game that the DLC 4 map is likely to be based off of, definitely let me know down in the comments. There is a few others, including the last campaign mission of the game that can definitely fit the bill, but for those of you that have played the campaign, I'd love to hear your opinion on it as well, but I want to thank you again for watching, and I'll see you with another Zombies News video tomorrow. Peace.